today we're going to be talking about Alex's mob, but not just Alex's mob, we're going to be talking about their secrets, each mob's secret, and also some easter eggs that we found in this game. Alright, so, it's going to be a three part series, 12 mobs per each, but let's get straight into it, let's not waste any time, but first. If you're looking to learn about new mods in deep detail, texture packs and all types of things related to Minecraft making it better, start now by subscribing and clicking that bell. Hey guys, I'm D from DAB Works, where we create content on the best mods mixed with shaders, texture packs, letting our computer suffer so yours doesn't have to. Just a quick shout out to these three people over here that have given me the suggestion for this video and I think it's a great suggestion. Thanks guys, if you want to put any comments down below of what your suggestion is, put it down below. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so first things first, what you want to do is throw this book away. Because I'm going to tell you everything you need to know right in this video. You don't need that book. Alright, so first we're going to show you what happens with a grizzly bear. So we have a grizzly bear. Now, they can normally be found with their um, their baby cubs. They can be found with the baby cubs. Alright. And if you give them honey, they're going to love you. So, we're going to just get a little close up here so we can see what it does. So you throw the honey with Q. And then it eats the honey. And then you should get some nice little mouth, mouth residue, <laughs> mouth splattering. Maybe we give salmon like this. So you keep giving salmon. All right. There we go. Now you got the hearts. And now it's possible that you can ride them. There we go. All right. So now thinking about this, right? What would happen if a fly had to fly into the portal and end up in the nether? What would happen? I'm gonna tell you today, a fly, let's watch this fly, if he does stay still, normally they fly around quite a bit because they are a fly, and um, let's see what happens to him. He becomes a crimson mosquito, how interesting is that? Okay, so, flies that fly into the nether become crimson mosquitoes. Alright, next one. Next on the crocodile, the crocodile can be tamed with rotten flesh and then when you do tame them they'll obviously mate because of the hearts and they'll both mate and then the female will come onto the sand or grass will come out and it will lay its eggs all right then from there you can wait for it and as the egg cracks or opens and the crocodile the baby crocodile comes out then from there it will imprint the closest player which will be either you or whoever and basically it's going to protect you in the water, so it's very good water protection and maybe some protection outside your house and yeah, it's a really nice thing to use. Alright, so the next one is pretty cool. We're going to be talking about the Bone Serpent. If you guys haven't seen that, once again, check the video. Um, so it, it looks like it's going to be hard to show you. It's just uh, bones and... Uh, yeah, he jumps out and he kind of attacks his prey, right? So the thing is, if you slay that, it's made out of bone, and if you slay it, then basically, you can start making a potion to get a potion of lava vision. Now, if we drink that, I'm gonna have to change my I'm gonna change my shaders real quick because otherwise you can't see it. I'm gonna go internal. Let's go. Okay. All right. And now, if you look at the lava, there's nothing, right? So if you go and you drink this lava potion, it's now like water. So this will act like water. So I, I guess what you can do, is just get a fire resistance. And then, man, it's like the ocean. Look at that. You just jump in there and you can swim around. It's quite interesting. Next we got the raccoon, this little cute creature right over here. So I'm going to have this chest over here. It's got four of these and we've got a couple of carrots, we've got apples, and we've got ch raw chicken. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to spawn one and it's believed so that they will rummage through your chests and eat the food. So what we're going to do is spawn them. And let's watch him. There he is. <laughs> and there he ate a carrot. Okay. So it's very realistic, I would say. Now, if they are slain, don't look if you guys don't like this, I'm sorry, but it's for experiment, all right? They drop the raccoon tail, and if enough raccoon tails, you can make a, what is this? Frontiers man's cap, all right? And we can pop that on, and then I look stylish, but not just me looking stylish. If you press shift and run, get some hectic speed boost. Okay, next thing I want to show you about this little fellow right over here. I heard him. There he is. So if he's close to water, and let's get some apples. 
Alright, so if he's close to water and you give him some fruit, as you can see he wants the apple, um, he's just gonna take it and wash it. Now he's gonna go wash it. Jump in the water. He's trying to get there. There we go. That is so cute, that's so cute. So the next one we have is called Among Us. Among Us. His name is Among Us, right? Uh, or Mungus. And definitely the biggest Easter egg in this game because it obviously comes from Among Us that has been really, really viral as a game. So I think they'll put this in the game. And I mean, the character looks exactly like an Among Us character. So let's spawn him real quickly and I'll show you what he looks like. Alright, so if you, if you haven't seen it before, you can check my other video where I just spawn all of them and I talk about them. And now I'm just doing a more detailed one right here. So, he's got the little backpack and everything. And this one, he's got little mushrooms. You see he's got little mushrooms on his head. So we've got different ones. We've got this one, he's got no mushrooms on his head. Then we've got this one, he's got mushrooms on his head. This one's got that mushroom on his head. So, now the thing is, what you can do is you can click with the mushroom and they'll just grow more mushrooms on them. Or you can take the same, but it has to be the same kind of mushroom. So, let's go put a mushroom on him. And then let's go put, okay, just like that, right? Okay, so then what happens is if you kill them, now they are a passive mob, but if you kill them, they're so cute, when he explodes, all those mushrooms are going to be all over the area that he was at. And watch, there it is. Mushrooms are all over that area. And it works for each one. So let's, uh, let's go, go ahead and kill him. And... Mushrooms all over that area. Now this one over here, right? Let's put one of these. So if they don't have any, you can put on them. So now he's got that mushroom on him. Alright. And now he's got a whole bunch on him. Alright. And once again, click it. And explosion of mushrooms. Alright guys. Now this is the most important part of the video. Because a lot of people have been asking me, how do I spawn the warp mask go? And of course in creative you just throw the egg, right? And if you don't know what it is, this is the guy. If you haven't seen him in action, go check my other video. I'll put the link in the description and I'll put the link also right over there. Click on that. Okay, so how do we spawn that? Well, let me get away from him because he's just gonna be a wreck. Okay, so now people have been asking me how to do it in survival and they have no idea. And I'm gonna show you today exactly how to do that. So let's get right into it. So what you wanna do is you wanna spawn among us. Right? And now if he's got a mushroom like that, it's not gonna work. Alright, so we can just kill him. Unfortunately. Yeah, come here. Alright, and explode. Oh, no explosion. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to get among us that is not that's a red mushroom. Nope. So with nothing is perfect what you want. Because then what you want to do is get a warp fungus and put it on there until he's got a lot of warp fungus. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill him quickly, look away. Okay, so, then what you want to do is you want to get a, hold on, let me prepare this one. You want to get a crimson mosquito, okay? So, aka, you should do this in the nether, suggestion, right? So, if you just have it in the nether, he'll work. So, make sure he is covered in warp fungus, right? Then, if the crimson mosquito sucks a warp fungus, like this, come on down. All right, you will see he will mutate because it's a warp fungus. He's gonna mutate into that bad boy, and that's how you do it. And this guy is just strong. I don't know why you want to. I don't know why you want to spawn him, but <laughs> good luck and enjoy, guys. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so next one we have is a cave centipede, and let's say you're in the cave and you see a one spawn over here beautiful like that well that's not right anyways if you do manage to slay them because they've got a poisonous bite right i mean this just not this doesn't look this looks jank it's not believable well look at that movement so if they do and you do manage to slay them after a while they'll drop cave centipede legs and then from that you can craft yourself some cr cave centipede legs pants or leggings as we call it and then that will grant you okay so we're gonna climb this wall right over here so let's go take that off and if you can't get up and you're wearing your senti pants you now can boom 
So it falls doesn't help you, but climbing up here. I mean, the animation doesn't look legit. I would like if you could turn and rotate, but I mean, there's so much in this mod. This is cool. So if many gazelles are just chilling like this, and it's quite, it's quite, oh, look at the babies. It's quite realistic because me coming from South Africa, this is exactly how it looks like when what we call them bucks, but gazelle, bucks, same, it's kind of same, same, and um, they look the same. This is kind of a spring buck, but anyways, um, then if you hit one, they will just disperse and run away. So let's go find ones who hit. Should we hit with a sword? I'm sorry, guys, this is all in experiment. So let's go back over here and we click them, and they're all out of here. Yes, they all run. Well, I don't know, this one's quite brave. Now they're out of here. So yeah, if you make any noise in the bush, also in South Africa, they will just run away. So if you do slay them, they'll give you these gazelle horns. And if you use three of them in the brewing method, you get a uh, speed of, and a weird speed, because this speed is, if we go onto it right now, um, you get speed three, which is like an unknown one, right? Look at that, I am speed, look at that. All right, so next on the list, we have the Mimi Cube. And the reason why it's called Mimi Cube is because it mimics whatever you have. So we're gonna pop this thing down and it looks like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my shaders because it doesn't really look that good on this shader. So we're gonna go with, um, let's go with maybe Kuda is better. Okay, so we got this one here. Okay, so now I don't remember in the last video, I'll, if you remember, I clicked on it with the egg and it had an egg out of its butt or out of it, hanging out of it, and it was weird. So the reason why that is because it mimics anything you attack it with. So if I attack it with a sword, he is now, oh, he even got my hat. That is insane. So he gets everything that you have. So let's say I have a shield on me, right? And I've got my hat and pants and all that. Uh, excuse me, sheep, we're trying to do experiment here. Now he's got the shield. Do you see that? He's got the shield, he's got the hat. So everything you have, he has, or he gets, right? So now, what you can do is if you if they are slain, so just be careful, if you got enchantments also on you, and you put the enchantment when hitting him, he will just take that enchantment and he will use it on his own. So he will become you, he mimics you. That's why it's called the Mimic Cube. Now what you can do also, so let's go get a chest quickly. And um, what you can do, let's say you've got diamond sword, duplicated but look at the durability all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into survival mode and then you can see how long it lasts so now we got to find something real quickly this is what it looks like and there it's done so literally one hit and it's broken but it's pretty cool all right and for this next one i recommend Swambero on your head so you look fancy and then one of these maracas in your hand all right so if you find a bunch of if you find a bunch of cockroaches just you know preferably in the in the cave you know that i think that's where they'll probably be the most we'll find them okay and then what you're gonna do you're going to do it over here like this and you're gonna give this maracas a shake So if you have a Morocco, they're going to follow you, first of all, as you can see. for la cucaracha i apologize if they're gonna give me a copyright on that i you know anyways if you want to give them all sombreros just click on them hey look at the guy Opa. now everyone can party with us even the little guy at the back yep you, you everybody gets one there we go there we go nice all right 
All right, guys, stay tuned for part number two where I go more deep. And there's so many mobs, so it's going to take a while to get through. But I want to show you everything you can do with each mob. So if the link is not here yet, when the next video comes up, I'll always link them so you can just get them in an order or it'll be in the playlist. All right, so if you guys like this video, click on this video over here. It will show you other videos similar to this video that's recommended by YouTube. So yes, guys, I'll see you next time, hopefully tomorrow or really soon with the next video of part two. All right, see you guys. Peace.